Hello there YouTube, this is the Aqua Student here, and I want to talk a little bit today about acclimating fish. So, go to the fish store, pick up some new fish buddies for your tank, and get ready to put them in. I want to show you kind of what I do, my process for, for acclimating my fish. First thing, I use my 5 gallon water change bucket, and put a little tank water in the bottom. That's, uh, that's so that the tank water in the bag, and the amount that I put in the bo uh, bottom of the bucket, will accumulate to enough that the fish aren't going to be laying on their sides trying to deal with the amount of water in there. Now the whole goal of this is to make sure that we get the new fish adjusted to the current tank water without adding any of the water from the fish store to our system. Now we don't want to add water from the fish store into our system because they have fish coming through all the time. You don't know what sort of diseases are coming in on shipments and a lot of times the uh, fish in their systems are a little bit more stressed than they would be in your home aquarium. The conditions are cramped, sometimes the tank mates aren't the most ideal and so it's good to isolate your fish for a while. That's, uh, that's why many people suggest using quarantine setups. Put them in their own separate tank for a few weeks just so you can monitor them, make sure that they're all good to go into your tank. So now that we have them all ready to go, we got some water, extra water in the bottom of the bucket, we can add the fish to a little bit of the tank water. This will start the acclimating process. So now that we have the fish in our five gallon bucket and the fish store water and tank water mix, what we're going to do is slowly add tank water. I usually like to use a small siphon hose or, or small air hose and add a little bit of tank water every few minutes or so. That'll slowly let the pH levels adjust and the temperature levels adjust. If you have more sensitive fish like discus or wild caught fish, you might need to more slowly acclimate uh, your new fish fishy friends and to do that you can use this air hose as well or the, the siphon hose and clamp it down that way water will siphon out just as it would if it was unrestricted but only a few drops will come in at a time this is what's known as drip acclimating another option is to use a small bottle or cup take a little bit of water at a time maybe every 5 to 15 minutes or so and add it to your acclimation bucket. After about an hour to two hours, depending on how sensitive the fish is, it should be ready to go into the tank. Once it's time to put the fish in the tank, you have a couple different options. You can use a cup to scoop them up, but then you get the fish store water into your tank, and that's not really ideal. You could try and like bear claw it if you're uh, very gentle. You can just scoop them up with your hand and place them in. If you have a large fish, like I've seen, os uh, I've personally done it with a, an Oscar fish, 12 inch Oscar fish, use a uh, washcloth or something and like scoop underneath them and try and move them that way. Uh, otherwise, you can just use a net, it's pretty easy. Um, the, the, these guys were not netted at the fish store, so this will be the first time they're netted. You don't really want to net fish too often because it'll damage their slime from the Once you get them acclimated to their new home, it's a good idea to give them a nice hearty meal. Got some live black worms here for them. Perfect for these South American cichlids, aka angelfish.